Hello, my name is Jakub Mohowski. I'm the game designer of The End of the Sun and I would like to show you a fragment of the game. Keep in mind that the game is still under development, so many things will be improved. The End of the Sun is a first-person exploration and adventure story-based game set in the Slavic fantasy world. The hero we play as is Ashta, someone like Slavic sorcerer with the ability to divination and influence the time. Ashtas similar to me are chosen by the crowd. They have a gift from the gods themselves, a gift to help in cases like these. Unfortunately, this time is different. I've been following his trail for a very long time, and the only thing I've found along the way are sparks and ash. According to old legends, Ashtars had knowledge about Navia, a land of spirits pervading our world. They often help people fight evil spirits, communicate with gods, and help in matters related to power and magic. Our hero came here, however, for slightly different reasons. The trail of the mysterious fugitive which he has been following for many months has led him to this seemingly abandoned village. The game world is open, so it depends on you in which order you will explore it and in what order you will discover the secrets and stories lying here. In the end of the sun, by solving successive puzzles, you influence events and thus the state of the world that you discover. The story unfolds during the four seasons far away from each other, between which we can travel. In a few days, the crowdfunding campaign of our game on Kickstarter will start. The link to the campaign is right now available on our website. Since the game is strictly fictional, to avoid spoilers we will jump to the next location in order not to reveal too much. So here we are. We can see smoke from a distance and several touched houses. The place looks quite deserted. But let's run and take a closer look. For regular people, these are just burned hearths. For me, these traces say more than it appears. They can even change what has not yet happened. The disruption of time that arose here is different. Its source lies in the poor souls you've encountered. We just had the opportunity to use one of the abilities that our Ashtar possesses. Ignite one of the bonfires, which are many in the game, and move from a warm afternoon to a windy morning. Ashtar is now in a specific state in which he can see what normal people cannot see. Very strange looking smoke marks began to float from the fire. Let's follow one of them. We see a sparkling shape. This is one of the trail of time where we can influence the course of events. Let's take a look and see what happened here. <sighs> I forgot the gift for Sophie. So no love during the Kapala night. We just saw a character who apparently had a strong mental connection to this place. As we can see, our Ashtar thinks that this has to do with a would-be meeting or forgotten gift. Let's look around a bit and try to find an item that can change the course of events. The End of the Sun is a game in which the environment itself provides us with a lot of information, so it's worth observing and exploring the world. Here we see another puzzle, but we'll come back to it in a moment. Let's keep looking. I think this is what we are looking for. A wooden figurine of Slavic god of fire, Svarok. It's the perfect gift. Let's try to put it in a sparking trail of time. <sighs> I forgot the gift for Sophie. Oh! This might be good. Look what I've got for you. What have you done? I destroyed the wreath because of you. And you spilled flour. Like father, like son. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Butterfingers is my middle name. Take it as part of my repentance. Something like this neither will help me nor bring me a husband. Besides, you took it from my corn, didn't you? I found this figurine on the stump. 
Sophie, I am really sorry for what happened. Lots of work awaits you. Meanwhile, I will make a new beat. By changing the position of small figurine, we influence the fate of the characters leading to their meeting. As you can see, the smoke that led to this path of fate disappeared. Let's go back to the venue for a moment and see what has changed. Spilled flower and damaged reef. Looking at the world before and after the events, we can get additional information about the story of the characters. Let's approach the bonfire again and try to ignite it. Unfortunately, the magic fire is still unstable and it smokes too much. We can't ignite it completely. So let's follow the next smoke trail. There is a red liquid on the ground. Let's examine it and see what we can find out. It's red sticky liquid with sweetish odor. Could it be blood? Let's look at another trail of time. Oh no, no! For the Sparag's sake! Why is everything keeping me away from her? It looks like badly stacked pile of wood has collapsed and all of Nadimir's work has been wasted. Let's try to find out more inside. It seems to be the same liquid as the outside, however, the wood saw is not dirty. Let's look at this event again. It seems that Nadimir's hands are already stained with red fluid at this point, and he shows no signs of pain. Maybe this is not blood? Traces of time often provide us with a lot of information, invisible at first glance, so it's worth looking at them several times. Let's go now to the place from which Nadimir came. So clearly, he left marks. We got it. A piece of wood smeared with liquid with a trace of Nadimir's hand. Let's take it and put it back to the right place. It's time to take the second piece we've seen before. Looks like everything is in place, so let's inquire in the changed fay path. Disturbing things were happening in front of us. Evident suffering and maybe also agony. After our interference in the path of fate, there were some changes in the environment again. Footprints outside and here inside it looks like something has been spilled. So it's some juice or blood. Seeing Nadimir's suffering, I conclude that this is the second one. Let's find out by checking where the last trail of smoke from the bonfire leads. We've been here before. Let's take this stick. For sure it will be useful later. It's a quern, an old-fashioned flower-making tool. But it looks like something is missing. At this point it's worth looking at the trail of time. We don't have time for each other because of work. How am I supposed to grind grain when there is no quernstone again? Oh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. As Nadimir mentioned, without a quern he won't make flour. 
It looks like this is another obstacle that distances our heroes from each other. So here's our quern stone. Ideal for grinding grains. We put the stone back in place and it looks like our stick will be useful here. Let's set the stone in motion now. And so we obtained flour from the grains left in the quern. Let's put the full ball back in place and influence the course of the event. Luckily there's still some flour left. Perhaps Sophie won't be angry anymore if good bread comes from it. It seems that Sophie will get her flour. All the smoke from the fire has disappeared. Let's try to fully ignite the fire of time. You spilled my favorite raspberry juice on yourself and thought I would be worried about you, right? I have to say, it sounds pretty bad now. I really didn't mean to spill it and destroy your wreath. It's just... I was so happy that we could spend the Kupala night together. I've been waiting for it all year. Please forgive me. It's fine. Let's forget about it. Just be careful next time and stop coming up with such weird tricks. Too much fright for one day. Now everything is clear. The final vision we saw is a consequence of all previous events related to this outbreak and thus our actions. The fire of time, fully lit this way, also allows us to travel in time not only within one day, but also four seasons away from each other for many years, which we will try soon. The final event left changes. You can see bread baked by Sophie, but also something that Nadimir left. An old wooden key. Let's take it. The elements we have can travel with us in time. So let's meditate and move to the next season. As the game is still in production and we don't want to show the visually unfinished elements of the game, I will only add that at this point in a special place called non-reality, we can decide which of the four seasons we want to go to. I choose autumn. As you can see from the surrounding trees, several years have passed. Our heroes are probably a little older too. The final event of each bonfire affects the fate of the characters and the world in the future. The fact that we led to the meeting of our characters meant that during the next seasons we will unlock certain events and the game world will look a little different. The house now seems neglected. And it can be said from the chest and objects in the middle of the yard that someone was moving or moving in. Often the consequences of time will be logical puzzles. For example, if in autumn we would lead to the final event where the heroes build a bridge, then in the next season this bridge would be built, so we could go over it and discover new locations or solve another puzzle. Again, we did a small cut to show you what the game is best and not reveal too much. In the end of the sun you will know the fate of the heroes at various stages of their lives and we will present it soon.
During the autumn, I solved a puzzle and used a wooden key that we collected to open the door. Entering this hut, it is worth mentioning that we have scanned authentic buildings as well as exhibits from ethnographic museums to get a unique atmosphere, which we talk about more on our blog. But let's get back to our game. The cottage has been decorated. Obviously, it's a special day. Let's approach this interesting looking element and look at it. In this way, we not only learn about the stories of the game world, but we learn about interesting traditions. This here sheaf of straw called Diduch is, as you can see, the prototype of today's Christmas tree. The End of the Sun is not a historical game, but it draws its inspiration from real Slavic traditions and legends, which is why mythical characters will also appear in the game. Let's go back to the next bonfire and light it. Good time to show the behavior of fully dynamic light in the game. This time we moved from day to night and more smoke comes out of the fire leading to puzzles and new stories. As we don't want to reveal too much, I will skip the solution to the riddles and present the final. Finally, the joke looks great. Kaliata has begun. Enjoy your meal, my love. May you get well. To my dear, you've prepared a wonderful sacrifice. This smell of mushrooms reminds me of those who are no longer with us. <coughs> it's been so many years since their death. I really regret that I've split up with my father in such a way. I hated him when I was young. And I thought he was crazy and I ignored him. But now, now I understand him. The heat of illness surrounds me, burns me, and I feel like I'm dying. <clears throat> <coughs> he has been dying his whole life, but when he faced the Veles, he remained himself. <coughs> I shouldn't have gone outside. <coughs> These mushrooms. <coughs> Stay calm. <coughs> this illness has been afflicting you for so long. You have to be careful. We have only ourselves. It's quite difficult for me to look at your suffering. I've tried all the herbs, but it's no use. Although, there is one more herb. That I've heard of in legends. I saw it only once, when I was young, in a place that terrifies me. A lake, under a huge oak. There, I can find a herb that will help you. A lake? <coughs> Don't go! <coughs> Don't! <coughs> Nadimir! Nadimir! As I have already mentioned, we'll have the opportunity to learn about the fate of the characters during the four stages of their life. Childhood, youth, middle age and old age with the fragment of we just had the opportunity to look at. In this way we reach the end of our short video. We are a very small three-person team. The game is currently in production for three years, so we are counting on your support on Kickstarter to be able to focus fully on completing the game and releasing it for you as soon as possible. During the campaign, of course, you will receive a game as well as many interesting limited physical rewards. All informations and link to our campaign, where you can follow us, you can find in the description for this movie and on endofsun.com.